Could New Mexicans soon find it difficult to get on an airplane with only a state driver's license as an ID? Feds are demanding a response from the state about requiring valid identification for U.S. citizens. It's called the Real ID Act, and New Mexico is one of two states where driver's licenses are not considered valid because illegal immigrants can get a driver's license. But some are just saying this is just a scare tactic by the governor. News 13's Diana Salceda is in the Newsplex with the story. Well, Homeland Security wants an answer by Monday from Governor Susana Martinez about her plans to comply with the Real ID Act, which could go into effect by January 15th. But even the governor's people are saying New Mexico's in no position to comply. According to the governor, New Mexicans couldn't use their state licenses to board a plane and would have to have a passport. Also, New Mexico driver's licenses couldn't be used as ID to get into federal facilities like Sandia National Labs in Llano. Today, the governor sent a letter to the Secretary of Homeland Security asking two questions. One, is Monday a firm deadline? And two, asking for a description of how New Mexico citizens would be impacted. There are 39 areas that states must comply with under the Real ID Act. New Mexico's only hit 16 of those requirements. This notion that that you know New Mexicans should be scared because we give undocumented licenses is a publicity stunt on behalf of the governor. This has nothing to do with politics. It has to do with security. We are imposing on other states our weak laws. We have case upon case of where they come to our state for the sheer purpose of getting a driver's license and they're gone immediately. Congress enacted the Real ID Act in 2005 after recommendations from the 9-11 Commission. It has been extended every year since 2007. Back to you. Okay, Deanna, Homeland Security in the past has given a number of delays to enforcing the Real ID Act, but right now they have no plans to grant any more extensions.